<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school tattoo machine. Enjoy. Oh, how to draw an old school tattoo machine. This one's slightly at an angle, I think. Get yourself almost square shape, just slightly longer, so technically a rectangle, but not an overly long one. So, about so. Two rectangles, roughly about the same size, just a little gap in between them. Long rectangle just above them, like so. Draw a straight line coming down here. Right. So that's basically going to be like with the coils are, the armature, armature bar, armature. <laughs> right. So just bring a little line, just a little bit above, you know, the air to bits here. This one's going to be like, you know, this sort of kind of classic old school kind of frame. So I'm going to have it kind of rising up here. A little bit further back. Rising up. Curving down. This bit coming out over past that straight line. Put a curve at the bottom of that. Comes back here. Gonna curve this one up. Let's come out of touch. Go down. So there. Do me a circle bit. Just there. One in there. Got like a line coming across here. Yeah, this needs to be up high actually. Cause... So a lot of line coming up here, a little kind of rectangle box just on top. Like so. Where well, you got these two rectangle bits on the inside, just a little Rectangle just on top of it, each one in the center. Nice thick line just above that little curve, just there. Two lines coming across, a few bands. Now here, you can do like a long, thin rectangle, do a bigger box rectangle in the middle. The middle is going to come to, almost like to a point at the bottom, just cut off the edge of it. A little circle bit just there. Cross that, cross that. And that's basically that. Okay, that's all three wires going over the pen, so you can see it more clearly. So you can see we've done the rectangles at the back for the coils, and then you had the frame bit. So you've got like this big sort of long rectangular shape just here, with like a box on the end. So we curve here, go back, to this line up, go back just there. So you can see that rectangular shape just there. This one goes up. Goes around, comes down. And this is like one of the old school classic frames, you know, it's not overly fancy. If you go too fancy a bit in old school style, you might not recognise it as a tattoo machine. So that back bit. It's one coil. Two goals. It's the armature bar. Mm. 
little round triangle just there. This line coming up. Another little just there. Two lines across. Bow line up here across. Looks so we'll screw it just there. One now. One now. This spring coming across there. Contact screw, which will go up here. Can have a little rectangle, but just on top, connecting just there. Now this goes down this line, follow this line down. Let's see what we're doing. It's going way too low. Idiot. My bad, sorry. Misjudging me and drawing. Tube goes up past this bit. <laughs> don't know why I don't load on that. Circle in there. No more time, which is coming off this side. If you screw it. Just there. No, a little bomb just there. A little line here can be a shadow, which is not a mistake. <laughs> See, even the best ones make mistakes at times. Don't worry about it. Easy fix. It's going to bring a cross hatch pan. Just line, same distance apart, all the way across. And then the same on the other side. Get done with bringing a bit forward actually. No worries, every machine's different. Normally, the calls would come here, but I sort of done them back in the frame. Still good, like just gonna flick some black on the top, from the back. Over from the corner, a little bit just here to show this bendy bit as it goes into the clamp. And black. And so that one. We need a way on this one, I think. It's just Windsor Note and brush markers that you guys always see me use, but feel free to use whatever you guys want to use. Just probably the same kind of principles. You know, it's easy to convert what you see me down here with like watercolours or pencils. Just going over my grey now, just going all over those dark edges. Generally in a straight motion, so like side to side motion, it makes it easier to blend them out. The black's fairly easy to blend into it, so I never go too crazy with going side to side with the jet black. It's 
spit the black grain out. Just work over that edge. Now remember with these kind of brushes and I know water paints, you know, it's gonna wet the paper so it's gonna appear darker to begin with than it will when it dries. So you see as this dries up, it blends out and goes smooth. Just like so. Get me yellow to begin with, just gonna put a yellow coat in there so it's like golden. A nice gold frame. Work over the black. And then just go back over those edges with the yellow. Just to blend out that brown. So, cross edge, just my contact screw. Get the lines just there. It's going to go a bit up either side here. Just create a nice little light. Be going through the center. Like so. Just a little highlight, I can use a bit some black. Yeah. And then a little bit of background, I'm going to do a couple of old school flower bits just in the back. Just give it a bit of colour. I've seen these four done the tutorials for these. Pretty basic. One there. Uh, I think one just coming off of here. Literally just circle, divide into an even amount I'm just going to go up up, down, up, down so you got like a little bump in the middle of each one of them just like so little line just come up the center of each bit and then some leaves coming off the edge Leaf, leaf. Rub it. 
pencil work. I'll get me red marker. Just going to colour these in, just leaving a little white highlight just around the edge. Leaf this green. See, it's just a little special colour just to break up and bring out the colour of the machine. Just like so. Just you can just put detail on the machine if you want. No, you don't have to, it's optional. I grab my small pen. Do yourself a nice kind of swirly pan. You just have little details, you can put like name in there, number, you may personalise it. There's a million and one different things you can do. Question is what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, that's how to draw an old school tape machine. Hope it helps. Hope you like it. Check out my video, subscribe, yada yada yada. You guys know the usual routine. And a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.